Simple music can be great music. Depeche Mode's lead single, Ghosts Again, from their new album Memento Mori is proof. It has a well-written and creative vocal melody in the verses, but it's really simple. So here's a method for writing melodies from a band that's been going for over 40 years. Step 1. Mode. If you're going to write a simple melody, it helps to choose an interesting mode. They chose Lydian, which is an uplifting but quirky mode. So we'll use F Lydian for our example, which is all the white notes from F to F. Step two, roots and thirds. Write a simple four bar chord progression, then mute your chords and only play the root note of each chord on your bass. That's the only thing Depeche Mode plays under the vocal melody in their verse. Right, are you ready for a melody masterclass from Dave Gaughan? So most of his vocal melody consists of only the one, three, and five of each chord. These are known as harmonic notes, as they form the chord. Over the first two chords, he only sings the one and three of each chord. And over the third chord, he only sings the one and five. But his melody sounds extra beautiful for two reasons. First, it's in Lydian, which makes it unusual. And second, there are no chords playing. So his vocal melody is what creates the harmony and therefore the emotion. The third note of each chord is the most emotional note, as it makes a chord either major or minor. And because there are only root notes in your bass, your melody will create that uplifting sound when it plays a major third, and that sad sound when it plays a minor third. Also, in an F Lydian melody, we want to use the note B somewhere, as that's what makes the mode different to the F major scale, which has a B flat. And if you want to learn about modes and how to use them, that's all in our songwriting and producing PDF. Step three, variations. Over the last chord in the progression, Dave sings the two and four. These are non-harmonic notes. In other words, they're not in the chord. This is what makes them sound like they're floating, as they're not anchored into the chord. So use a couple of non-harmonic notes at the end of your melody to avoid it becoming predictable. Then lastly, in the second cycle of their melody, Dave sings a small variation to keep it fresh. So change a few notes when you loop your melody. <laughs> 